Hey, welcome to Generation X3. I'm your host, John C. Dvorak. I'm here with Andre Preston, Dorian Douglas, and Eddie DeRosa to discuss the issues of the day, including a, a video that went viral of a, a chunk of the John Stewart show, showing how the media in general has marginalized candidate Ron Paul to the point where they won't even mention his name and in, actually came out and damn near said that on CNN, which was we'd rather take pictures of Sarah Palin, you know, or Michelle Bachman. If Ron Paul comes into the topic, don't don't talk about it. Shh. It's a travesty. I love that line John Stewart had. He's with, when did Ron Paul become the 13th floor of, floor a, of a hotel, hotel room? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. What? Well, I mean, why do you think this is the case? They're ignoring the guy. Yeah, they are because I think they're afraid of him. Who? The media? I think, no, I think that the government's afraid of him. They made a, I brought this up before, and Andre poo pooed it, which is the fact that they, if you have a Ron Paul sticker on your car, you're likely to be uh, categorized as a terrorist and put on a watch list, according to Homeland Security. Are you serious? That's yeah. For real? <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Well, now, the congressmen were up in arms about it. They said they stopped doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's pretty sad because this guy is like, he's actual contender. He's up there. I mean, I don't know if he'll yeah, ever become like president, him. but he has a following. He's, he's the only politician who actually says what he believes. Well, and it pisses me off that, like, they, that the media won't even say his name. How are we supposed to choose a candidate for a presidency in, in a democracy without knowing anything that the candidate is campaigning for? Because they won't mention his name. Like, I feel like it needs Let alone to his message, which is essentially he wants to end the wars. Uh, yeah. He wants to uh, uh, end the war on drugs. He thinks it's a huge waste of money, and I would agree with that. He wants to uh, audit the Federal Reserve because he thinks they're scamming us. And some other, you know, very kind of radical ideas because nobody else wants to do anything except <clears throat> put their, get their buddy's money through mm -hmm. a war contracts that are no bid. So this is what I can't really get, though, is that I think, I mean, everything this guy says is a talking point. You'd think the media would be all over everything that he does. What makes it? Why are they covering Sarah Palin so much? Because she's pretty. She just she actually yeah, get higher ratings on TV. It's entertainment. It's she's just like watching Kim Kardashian getting married. I mean, it's the same train wreck. I think Ron Paul is more entertaining than all of them. I think he, he is screams, also. He screams. He yells. He shakes his fist. He's real, very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, but he's not good looking. He's no. Neither that's Bill O'Reilly. We're getting down to the, the nitty gritty here. He's not good looking. He's an older guy. He's got a funny. Yeah. Muddy, muddied up face. He's an old fashioned politician. In the 1840s, a guy like that could become president because nobody knows what he looks like. But he's not good looking in all these shallow TV operations. But this, you know, actually, the New York Times does mention him a little bit more than the rest of the media. But the TV media, including Fox, they just refuse to put his face on the screen. I think they're going to think it's going to scare kids or something. He gets his best coverage on Comedy Central. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that a comedy network? Yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Apparently you have to go to the Comedy Central to get any news nowadays, which is kind of pathetic in and of itself. Yeah. So that's sad. I don't know. I mean, you think that um, Jon Stewart uh, getting him on there and stuff is going to force these other networks to kind of change their tone? Or no, that? I think it'll just give Jon Stewart more material in the future because they're still not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. They wa Everybody wa in the business watches Jon Stewart to get cues so they can say, ooh so they can see what might be going on, but they don't necessarily take action. I love how this conversation has turned to us asking you questions. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that, then. You've been watching X3. 